Zahra Nemeti, a Paralympic gold winner in 2012, the only Iranian woman who has ever brought home a gold medal. Nemeti is now part of the National Paralympic and Olympic archery team. The 35-year-old was paralyzed after a car accident in 2003. Prior to that, she competed in Taekwondo. Competing in the Olympics has been a lifelong goal. I always dreamt of the Olympics, to take part in the Games at some point, but I never thought that dream may come true, especially in archery and the Paralympics as well. Her mental health plays a huge part in her sport, but also in her teammates' performance. Behzad Pakzad has been with Nemati for four years. I call her the engine of the team. When she's training and is satisfied with her work, it has a positive impact on her teammates who try to improve and reach her level. Their expectations from themselves raise when they see her setting another record. Nemati was the flag bearer for Iran in the opening ceremonies of the 2016 Olympics, a day she says she will never forget. She has already qualified for the Paralympics in Japan later this year. She is now training to compete in the Olympics as well. COVID-19 has not only affected these athletes' personal lives, but also their professional ones. They couldn't train for months at the start of the pandemic, so now they are trying to make up for lost times. They tell me even if the Paralympics and Olympics are cancelled later this year, they will still continue to train because for them, it is now a way of life. These women are relatively new additions to the national team. As they enjoy a much-needed break from the cold, a glimpse of everyday life peeks through. But Zahra's focus and determination shows no respite. She sits on a number of committees for athletes and explains the challenges she has faced as a woman. I think there are obstacles for women all around the world, let alone a woman with special needs who is wheelchair-bound and doesn't have access to many facilities. Had it not been for those challenges and limitations, Zahra Namati wouldn't be the person sitting before you today. I think Iranian women under all these circumstances proved many things and themselves to the world. A country under sanctions, a disabled female athlete, and a pandemic with no clear end in sight. All obstacles for most, but here they are viewed as hurdles to overcome. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, Tehran.